All right, changes to the channel for 2023. I just watched my man Finn McKinty talk about changes to the channel he's going to make, and he's the uh, punk rock NBA. Big fan of Finn. He's a friend of mine, actually. I've never met him in person, but we've talked on a number of occasions and texted and whatnot. And uh, and he he said something that, he, well, he didn't say it explicitly like this, but basically he's trying to be put more positive energy into his videos and not do crap, essentially. And he, you know, he, he's, he didn't say he's doing crap, but he's just basically saying there's some videos he wasn't, a, uh, he wasn't proud of and he doesn't want to do that anymore. And I, I, I thought that was wonderful for him to acknowledge that. But it's something I've been thinking about a lot lately. Um, I do think there's an ether. What the ether consists of, I, I don't know. Um, some will say it's almost like a, uh, uh, some kind of fluid that's above us. Uh, you know, I don't know. And that's why they'll say, you know, like stars are kind of reflecting as if there's, you know, in a substance of some sort. And, you know, whatever. But I absolutely think there's an ether. And I think the ether feeds on negative or positive energy, 100%. You know, if you just do the rice experiments, man, I'm telling you, I've done it twice, and both times it's the same thing. The degradation of the rice, I did it one time with the rice and one time with the apple. When, you, when you're yelling, bringing a negative energy, is you cannot deny this. It's insane how much more ne uh, just gross the rice or the apple becomes just by yelling at it. In the same container, everything's the same relative to when you're um giving positive feedback to the rice or the apple it's nuts man it's nuts and i and i think there is 100 percent positive and negative feedback which the ether uh, feeds on to create positive negative energy that we all feed on as human beings and i i just i don't want to contribute to that anymore now here's the problem i have is i do think mockery is a wonderful way to break people's What's the word I'm looking for? Curses? You know, just to wake them up, I think. But I'm not so sure about that anymore. I used to think, I mean, I, I still, I guess maybe I do. I used to think, you know, literally up until about a month ago, that mockery is the way to fight back against the orthodox, against the evil that is out there permeating the society. Mock the devil. Mock the evil that's out there that says, you know, freaking... You know, we can talk, we eat, you know, Einstein mock these people because they don't know what they're talking about. Mock the people who think that we're going to live off solar and wind. And I just, and because it's just, it's not going to happen. But I'm not sure mockery is the way to do this anymore. I'm actually, because I think about it, the things I get mocked for, um, it doesn't make me see their way of thinking. You know what I'm saying? It actually, what mockery does is it makes sheep go towards the people who are mocking and and i don't want to be part of that what i mean by that is let's just say uh for instance uh you don't think we went to the moon let's just use that for example a lot of people have no clue they haven't looked into this at all they haven't they have done no research whatsoever but they look at the people who are mocking uh, those who stand and they look at the people who are being mocked and they say, I don't want to be on the being mocked side, so I'm going to go with the people who are mocking. So I get challenged for my idea. I don't think we went to the moon. That made me crazy. I, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And people say, ah, you don't think we went to the moon? Oh, that's idiotic. Everyone knows we went to the moon. And you're like, yeah, let's dive into that a little bit. No, I just, you know, everyone says that, so it's such. And so I try to push back on the mockery by mocking those people, uh, not for the moon necessarily, but people don't know what the hell they're talking about, in particular when it comes to electric vehicles and solar and wind. But that doesn't, that's bullying behavior. It literally just occurred to me right now, I, I, this second time of doing this video, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get people aligned to say, ah, look at you, you idiot. You think you know, you're going to have your whole economy run on solar and wind. It, but that's not positive energy. That's not going into the ether in a positive way. That's creating negative energy. You're trying to say, I'm going to mock these people so they adhere. And, and I, I, having been mocked for various points of view, I know what that's like. Hey, it doesn't turn people to your point of view. At least the people you want to turn, the people who are thinkers. There's always going to be sheep. It's just human nature. You know, and you're never going to turn sheep, man, because the sheep will always go, you know, the sheep of today were the sheep that, you know, in terms of, the, you know, the, this thing, you know what I'm saying, 
this thing, all the various, you know, orthodox stuff. Um, those are the same people who completely would have fallen in for segregation and slavery because they did not want to stand against the grain. They did not want to join the chorus of the people being mocked. They wanted to join the chorus of the people doing the mocking because it's tough to stand against the grain. But just because you're on the side of the mockers doesn't mean you're, A, you're right, or that you're bringing positive energy. It just hit me when I was doing this video, man. I said, because I always thought, well, if you mock those people, you're going to get enough people to say, well, this guy sounds pretty confident. Maybe i got to say what he's talking about. But that's not how it works. I'm at, Charlotte's getting her colonoscopy. I'm just sitting outside waiting for the uh, colonoscopy. It's 1 o'clock. We haven't eaten yet. We've been sitting here all day long. I remember that guy from last time. And I've been listening to videos, finishing up my book, and... Um, and I just said, I've got to, I just got to put more positive energy into the ether. So my New Year's, my 2023 update is going to be, I really don't want, now I'm going to state things factually as I see them. You know, factually for you might not be factually for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to state things factually. Like for instance, I did, a, I posted earlier today. I just got to watch. I'm not doing it in a mocking way. I just got to do it in a matter of fact way. So we have a solar farm, a 38-acre solar farm here in Georgia. We got a bunch of solar farms. Uh, the nameplate capacity is 4.1 megawatts. Megawatts, all right. Now we don't actually consume. We consume megawatt hours, kilowatt hours, watt hours. We don't actually consume a megawatt. So you got to convert this to kilowatt hours, essentially. And what a what what is produced last year in 2021? Because we're still in 2022. It produced 6,100 megawatt hours of electricity well below its capacity well below all right 6100 is 6.1 million kilowatt hours of electricity which sounds like a lot you're like yeah it sounds like a lot which uh the average household in the united states consumes or uses 11,000 kilowatt hours of electricity a year you would think you can power 550 houses with a 38 acre uh solar uh, uh array but you can't and the reason you can't do that is simple is because the sunlight when the vast majority of our usage of electricity is in the afternoons and the evenings when people get home from work and that's when the sun is at the lowest of even in this or it's not even shining you know what i'm saying so there is no electricity being driven from photovoltaic when we the demand is the highest just not happening so you're not really powering 550 houses simply because the bulk of that electricity use uh, that the sun is or the electricity generation isn't going in to power those houses, just not. Anyways, the point being is the only way to do this is with battery. Then you just don't have enough battery. The battery is just non existence relative to what we're needing. And so anyway, that is an act, that's a fact. This is factually correct. The question is, am I saying it in a in a matter of fact way, am I saying in a mockery kind of uh what's the word i'm looking for um you know condescending ass way and i don't want to say it in a condescending ass way i don't think that generates positive vibes in the ether if that makes sense i want to increase positive vibes in the ether and decrease negative vibes that's and i'm not perfect by any stretch of the imagination but i really want to get over this um I'll show you with my smartness, and I'm going to condescend and mock you, and ha, 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 you can't mock me, I'll mock you first. I really want to try avoiding that, simply because it's, it is negative energy going into the ether. And I, and I, I know this sounds like, but e yeah, I absolutely believe the ether exists, man. Mickelson Morley, all you want. Mickelson Mor Morley did not disprove the ether. I'm just telling you right now, it did not. Uh, well, they have Mickelson Gale. Anyway, so a lot of people say Mickelson and Morley disproved the ether, and that's where Einstein said the ether is superfluous because Mickelson and Morley. No, that's simply not true. Anyway, so that's my goal for 2023. I want to put more positive energy into the ether, and I'm going to try my hardest. Now, I, I, if you see me being an ass, tell me. I really want not wanting to. That does not mean I'm going to be a wimp, and I'm not going to stand firm in my belief system. It just means I'm... I'm going to try my best to be matter of fact, factual, and not call people out and say, ah, I just, I got to do that. And it's tough, man. It's tough. 
But anyway, join me in this, would you? And, you know, our, like, our side's better than their side. We might only be 20% of the population, but our side's better than their side. Let's 20% of the population of uh, free thinkers can do a lot of good with positive energy. Right. God bless. Love your thoughts. We'll see you.